Could we have made a better signing ahead of the 2019 Formula One season than Jensen Button, the 2009 world champion? It's great to have you as, as part of the Sky Sports F1 team this year, Jensen. And we're in this Warner Brothers studios shooting a, what will be a, a very dramatic promo for the start of the season. I know we're all very excited about that as well. But um, it feels like a new start for F1. What are you most excited about ahead of, of the, this year's campaign? It's, that's a tricky one. There's so much to look forward to, and that's why I'm here. You know, I, I was so excited about the the 2019 season with the two the two Brits, the two young guns coming in, uh, George and uh, Lando, um, to Charles Leclerc alongside Sebastian Vettel at Ferrari. Um, obviously, Lewis is coming off of uh, a fantastic few years, but. With the new regulation changes, who knows what's going to happen in 2019? Um, there's so many changes in the sport at the moment, and I think that's it's exactly what the sport needs. Uh, and I think that we might have three teams fighting at the front as well. Hopefully, we're going to see Red Bull, Honda up there as well. And if we do, there'll be some fantastic fights, I'm sure. Actually, I meant to congratulate you, first of all, on impending fatherhood. It's wonderful news. We're all thrilled uh, for you up and down the country. Uh, you're obviously entering a new phase of life. Thinking about your old teammate, Lewis Hamilton, not so long ago, he was kind of thinking, well, how long will I go on for uh, in F1? But you just sense, now he's got to five titles. Is this target of Schumacher's seven really going to inspire him over the next few years? I'm, I'm sure it will, but knowing Lewis, it's not about trying to... to to better what Michael has done. I think when things are changing in Formula One and there's new challenges, that's what he loves. That's what we all love in, in racing. Uh, it's when the, the challenges stop that you decide, you know what, I'm going to go and do something, something else. But with the way Formula One is, with the regulation changes and the drivers changing all the time, it, no, he's going to want to keep going, which is, which is fantastic for the sport. Yeah. You and Nico, I think, are the only two teammates to members of our team on Sky Sports yeah. F1 who've beaten him in the same car over a season. That's what Valtteri Bottas has got to try and do. It's what Sebastian Vettel's failed to do in similar equipment over the last couple of years. Should they be going about things in a slightly different way? Is it maybe up here in the sort of mental game that they're losing out? I think it's a very different atmosphere for Sebastian at, uh, at Ferrari than it was at Red Bull. Maybe there's more pressure. Um, we're going to see how he copes this year. It's going to be a, a big year for Sebastian, I think. Um, you know, when Daniel Ricciardo came into uh, Red Bull, uh, he found it difficult the first year with, uh, with, with Daniel. Daniel put him under a lot of pressure and actually outperformed him. And I think if Charles can do that this year, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough decision of, of where Sebastian is going to go for the future and what he's going to do. So it's an important year for him. I'm sure he feels the pressure and we'll see how he copes under the pressure because he's an unbelievably skilled driver and, and super fast. But if your mind isn't in the right place, you forget it. So we'll see. And, and Charles seems like a, such a happy-go-lucky guy and very relaxed. And I think the team are going to really take to him. And that sometimes can hurt the other driver. We've gone about three minutes into this conversation and not mentioned Max Verstappen. Can we throw him into the title mix this year? Always. You know, I mean, Max will get the maximum out of a car and, and a little bit more. You know, he's in, a, in tricky conditions. Max is fantastic with a car. Uh, he has a new teammate um, in Pierre Gasly, who I rate very highly. You know, he's, he's still very young in the sport, in, of, you know, in Formula One. Um, but he's a good kid, and I think he'll fit very well into um, the Red Bull family at the, the you know the, at the top level. Uh, so yeah, I'm, uh, for Max is a tricky one because he's always moving forward. He's always looking for something else, and you know, oh, jumps in a in a Red Bull and he wins wins the first race. Um, so this year is a really important year for him to keep it moving. Um, so he has to be really fighting for the championship. I, or, or I think he's going to start asking questions of, of where he should be in the future. Okay, fair enough. Give us maybe a surprise first winner this season. Well, Leclerc's got a chance, hasn't he? Could we see someone else, maybe you know, Hulkenberg, maybe if Renault can make a step? We'd like to see just things mixed up just a little bit more. Yeah, I think the, the, I think the first three will be a lot closer, but it's whether the other, the other guys, the other teams are, are able to bridge that gap, which is quite big at the moment. But I'd like to see the Hulk uh, get a win. You know, I think he's, he's, he's a very talented driver that is, has found himself in, in teams that are good, but not quite good enough to win a Grand Prix. So it would be nice, but uh, I think the one that stands out is, is Charles Leclerc that has the, a good uh, you know, opportunity to, to grab that first victory. 
OK, great stuff, Jess. You look absolutely at home in a Warner Brothers studio. I, I, James Bond down the line. He's been delivering his lines flawlessly all day. I'm going to try and say this now. We are looking forward to this year on Sky Sports F1 being the exclusive home of all live F1. And uh, this man is going to play a big part in that.